Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my Stagey YouTube channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. Tonight, I am so excited to be back at the Apollo Victoria Theatre in London for the first reopening performance of the West End production of Wicked, and it is very good to see the theatre. I feel very lucky to be part of this audience tonight, and I'm going to be taking you inside the very exciting first performance. just let the curtain come down and wave tonight, um, as it's obviously a very special night. If I can just briefly take you back 18 months. Our esteemed Chancellor made a speech 18 months ago that said, you will not face this alone. Um, what he failed to tell us is that our industry, the theatre industry, and many of these people without help. On behalf of everyone involved in Wicked, everyone on stage, everyone backstage, the full company, we are so proud of you. <laughs> the the theatre industry isn't always an easy industry and you make a conscious choice to be part of it and it is only because of the resilience and determination of people that everyone has uh, made it back. And um, and we are very grateful that they have. There are lots of people who've worked exceptionally hard um, throughout this whole process. I, I do have to acknowledge first and foremost our wardrobe department. <laughs> uh, this company is made up of a lot of old friends, uh, the company that left us in March and then many others who have rejoined us. Many emergency covers and swings and everyone we threw at Melody and her team <laughs> has a costume. Um, to our production coordinator, Emily Baines. Um, to Michael Conlon, our incredibly hard-working company manager. And to our creative team, our UK creative team, who always work exceptionally hard, but worked even harder under exceptionally hard circumstances. And I also want to acknowledge a group of people known as The Swings. They are absolutely the engine room of, a, of any musical. It was demonstrated quite spectacularly this evening during Act One, where if anyone was aware of a bit of commotion going on in the stalls, apologies, um, but one of us cast sadly had to go off, and um, watching the show uh, was Lewis Easter. <laughs> stage so that we can have to interrupt the performance. So it is a unique group of Finally, I think it's just fair to say on behalf of us all, we've learnt a couple of things during, uh, during lockdown. One is how much we all value our, our jobs, being part of this industry and how happy we are to be part of it. 
what we learnt is without all of you, we are nothing. Um, and it is a heartfelt thank you for this spectacular reopening. Um, you couldn't have been a more amazing audience. Um, Ron, this isn't normally what happens every night. So, uh, <laughs> normally we come down a lot earlier than this. Um, but truly, uh, the, there is um, a wide audience. Over 10 million people have seen Wicked since we started here at the Apollo Victoria. Um, and we are wholly relying on you coming. And, and within the sort of broad audience demographic, there is a group of people known collectively as the fans. And uh, this is my opportunity to say thank you so much for supporting all of the individuals involved in the show and the show itself. It is a privilege to perform it for you. We are so happy to be telling this story again and thank you so much for being part of it. Did that work? I don't know that that worked. I am back in my flat. I have just come home from the Apollo Victoria Theatre and it is unusually late. This is because with all of the applause in tonight's reopening show at Wicked on the West End, we made it at least half an hour longer than it needed to be probably more. I just wanted to jump on here very quickly to add to this video and let you guys know some of the things that happened at tonight's Wicked show so you can feel like you were there with me in the audience. With all of the other Wicked fans, theatre fans and many, many gay men. Honestly, not often have I seen an interval men's toilets line like that. It was, it was a cue. So basically, as soon as the show began, as soon as the lights went down and that amazing overture started and the damn dragon started moving, there was huge applause. Immediate, massive applause. Applause for the monkeys when they came down, then it died down a little bit because the music goes quiet. And then the curtain goes up and then big applause again. And then they started singing, good news, she's dead. Better than that, more applause. Then the bubble comes out quite early in the show. I forgot how quickly it happened and I hadn't really had enough time to emotionally prepare myself for the fact that this was all happening. Bubble comes out, instant standing ovation. Like, I am the last person to stand up because just everyone else is thrown to their feet immediately. Huge applause over this. Now, controversially, I've watched the Broadway version and she waits for them to applaud for ages and then does a big triumphant, it's good to see me, isn't it? More applause. And I think that's what we were all expecting to happen. This whole Glinda, it's good to see me, isn't it? moment has been very anticipated by everyone on theater Twitter for many months. It's what got a lot of people through this pandemic, knowing that they would hear Glinda say that when theatres reopened. Controversially, Sophie Evans delivered that line as we were applauding, so not long after we'd started clapping her entrance, I saw her lips say it, but none of us heard it. And I think when we all registered that that had happened, the applause then died down a little bit earlier than it otherwise would have. But what did happen and what was very exciting is there was so many more huge applause moments throughout the show. I'm gonna tell you as many as I can remember. So end of No One Mourns the Wicked, the Wicked, Wicked, Wicked. Crazy applause, no standing ovation. Elphaba runs on for her first entrance for Dear Old Shiz, standing ovation. Crazy applause for Laura Pick running out as Elphaba. Wizard and I got crazy applause when it started, just when it transitioned from So I'll make good into The Wizard and I. I have no idea what key I'm in, it's very late. That got crazy applause just for the fact it was starting, and then more crazy applause at the end of the song. And after this point, random moments started getting crazy applause. Like Fiera's entrance, fine. End of Dancing Through Life, sure popular yeah just the song buttons lots of applause but then also like someone tried to make applause happen for the start of sentimental man and i enjoyed sentimental man but not a usual applause moment almost every line in one short day got applause like they do the just the first line the one short day in the emerald city clack, 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 clack. and then they talk oh i always wanted to see the emerald one short day in the emerald city clack, 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 clack. it became just a mob mentality of applause at one point where i had no idea i was just trying to keep up with everyone else Else. And then defying gravity, no applause at the beginning, just stillness, silence, like when she does the beginning like the, I hope you're happy, I was like, are people going to applaud in anticipation? Still, pin drop in the theatre. The applause started when she went from, close my eyes and leap, it's time to try defying gravity. 
That was the first applause. And then again, when the broom comes out, when she magics the broom, and then again, when she does the, stop it, it's not the one, she's not the one you want, it's me, it's me. Obviously, huge applause at that moment. And it was so good. Defying Gravity was so killer tonight. Crazy applause, standing ovation at the end. Obviously. Act two, I feel like people lost a little bit of steam with the crazy applause interrupting the show, but then it picked up again for No Good Deed, which got a mid-show standing ovation. As Long As Your Mind got crazy applause. Uh, for Good got crazy applause, but no standing ovation. I was surprised by that. I actually turned to my friend I was with, I was like, are we not standing for this? What are we, what, what are we standing for? I well, like, what's the rules here? What's the criteria? I don't understand the criteria. From what I could tell, the criteria for applause was either a character enters for the first time, a song has just finished, or one of the iconic wicked lines is said. Like when she says, for the first time I feel wicked. That got a big applause. Or, oh, when she got dressed up as the witch in Defying Gravity and they do the like big pathos trumpet moment. That got big applause as well. All of the iconic imagery and lines, lots of applause. There was just so much clapping tonight. My hands are killing me. Also, was fully prepared for Glinda's It's Good to See Me, Isn't It line. What I wasn't prepared for was that at the end of the show, she gets back in her bubble and she says, fellow Aussians, friends, and then looks out into the audience and says, we've been through a difficult time or a scary time, whatever the line is. And the whole audience simultaneously went, Oh, that was very real. Now, just a couple of thoughts I have about the Wicked reopening. As I was queuing up and getting so, so excited, it occurred to me that Hamilton was already open and I hadn't felt nearly this much buzz about its reopening. I'm sure the reopening show was great and there was also crazy applause there. And I'm sure it's amazing because Hamilton is such a really great show and one of the best shows in the West End. But I feel like there was undeniably less interest in its reopening than Wicked. What's interesting is Broadway definitely had bigger applause. A, because I think British audiences are naturally sort of more reserved and polite than Broadway audiences, who are a lot more out there and boisterous. But also, the West End has been open discernibly for quite a while now. Wicked is coming in as one of the later shows to reopen, if not the latest theatre to reopen. You know, there was huge applause for the shows that opened in May and in June, and even in December, like mid-plague, we had shows reopening. Broadway has been dark pretty much the entire time, with the exception of a couple shows that opened very recently. So for Broadway, Wicked reopening now is a bigger deal than it is over here where we have had a lot of other theatre running basically all summer. But also I think the reason that Wicked is still anticipated so much over here is because it really represents the heart of theatre land in a lot of ways. You know it's this transatlantic success of a show that connects the West End and Broadway. It's sort of one of the most recent hits that's really done well on both sides and feels like it's going to run forever. And so many of the musical theatre fans of this current age have some sort of formative musical theatre experience with Wicked. I think it's such an important show to so many people who I know. So many of my theatre friends were there tonight who have all seen Wicked upwards of 20 times. It was only the sixth time for me. I've only ever seen Wicked very spaced out and with some really epic alphabets in my time. Not to brag, did see Adina. I was 11, but I remember bits of it. Do I think tonight was the best show at Wicked I've ever seen? Not necessarily. I'm sort of looking to the future with Wicked, where I'm interested in where it's going to go next. Next, I would love to see them make some bolder casting choices when the current contracts have ended and they're looking to have a new cast in January. I am hoping they will take this opportunity to reflect more diversity on stage in line with their commitment to diversity that they have been talking about. I would love to see a lot of new, fresh energy brought to Wicked because there were moments in the show where even at a very exciting, big, heavy applause reopening show, I felt the pace just sort of dropped. And that could have been because there were a lot of interruptions. I don't know. There were moments that felt lower energy energy than I remember Wicked being. It's worth saying I also have a lot of nostalgia for the show, so perhaps I'm misremembering it. But I do want to see Wicked being the best version of itself that it can be. If you have any more questions about Wicked's reopening performance in the West End, or what it's going to be like going forwards, let me know in the comments section. If you were there as well, let me know what your experience was like, and if there are any other details about this amazing night in the theatre that you would like to share. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my stay to YouTube channel for plenty more content about all your favorite shows coming very soon. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe!